U.S. Senate candidate and Congresswoman Jackie Rosen was also at the event along with other Democratic figures. Now, we are just over a week from the midterm elections. There is a lot on the line. To talk more about some of the closest races, CBS polling expert Anthony Salvanto. Good morning to you, Anthony. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kirsten. How are you? I'm great, Anthony. Great indeed. Now, let's get right into it. You know, we've got one of the most watched Senate races in the country here in Nevada. We've got Republicans and Democrats. They're pouring tons of money into the race. Anthony, what are the latest polls showing? Um, it's even. It's effectively even. And one of the reasons that it is so closely watched, you're right about that, is that it's one of the few things, a few states, where it seems like Democrats might have an opportunity to pick up a Senate seat from the Republicans. Elsewhere in the country, we see a lot of Democrats who are trying to defend their seats in red states. That means states where the president won. So yours is one, along with maybe Arizona, where the Democrats are eyeing a pickup, and they'll need it if they have any hope of uh, maybe making a Senate majority of their own, which at the moment would seem to at least on edge favor the Republicans, Kirsten. Okay, Anthony. Uh, what are some of the trends you are seeing as we head into the final days leading up to the midterm elections? Well, one of the key things, and you see it there in your race, is the president. You know, he's on pace, even though he's, of course, not on the ballot, to have the most influence on voters' minds of any president we've seen in recent midterms. We've got large numbers saying they're either casting their congressional vote to support him or casting their vote to oppose him. And so we haven't seen those kinds of numbers before. And the second thing is going to be turnout. And you heard some of that in the clip you just played. The Democrats' chances are really heavily dependent on people who don't typically vote in midterms. They say they're showing up this time. They say they're breaking towards the Democrats. If they actually show up, that really changes the equation. If they don't, Republicans' chances get a whole lot better. Mm. Here in Southern Nevada, we saw some record turnout for early uh, voting um, over the past weekend. Um, any other national trends that you're seeing? Yeah, national trends, uh, the big one I'm watching also is the split between people who say that the economy is good, and that's near record numbers as we head into a midterm, and yet the people who say at the same time that they don't like the direction of the country. We don't often see that split. It's about a, th a third of voters who say those two things simultaneously, and the way that they decide, if they decide on the economy, that may tilt them towards the Republicans. If they decide on not liking the direction of the country, that works in the Democrats' favor. We'll see what they decide over the next week. That's right. All right. Thank you so much for your input. We greatly appreciate that, Anthony. Have a fabulous day.